Are you tired of not being able to decide which load shedding product is good for you? And amidst all the problems of not having power and not being able to work, being confused by so many different products and so many different features and abilities. Well, today I'm going to share with you four of my load shedding products that you need to keep an eye out for if you are shopping for load shedding products. So the first thing we're going to look at is the Gazoo Portable Power Station and it is a 1x3 prone SA plug point power station and how it works is it's basically a portable battery operated generator for load shedding and power outages and can even be used for things like camping. So how it works if we think about a generator, generator takes fuel, what not, not, not. This is a portable power station with a battery and an inverter. So basically, instead of having to worry about lugging around the generator with fuel and everything, you have this little portable device that you can just take anywhere, plug in, and you got power. So the biggest thing with this product is that it is portable, and you don't have to worry about, as I said, logging, lugging around a big generator with fuel. And with it being portable, it's also a sort of ease of use. So this comes in four variants, a 518 watt hour, a 296 watt hour, a 242 watt hour, and a 155 watt hour uh, device. So depending on how long or what you need to keep online for a certain period of time, that will determine what sort of watt hour power station you need to purchase. And this should not be confused with a UPS device because a UPS would just invert the power this is an actual power station that monitors and and converts the power accordingly well a ups just outputs the power so that you can keep your devices up for a short period of time and switch it off basically and the coolest thing about this is that some of these portable power stations actually support solar charging so you can hook it up to a solar panel and charge the device even while you don't have power okay so the first one we have is the 151 watt hour and that retails for about 3000 rand. The 242 watt hour device is product code GSP150 Max and that retails for about 3699 rand. Then we move on to the more bigger devices, the 296 watt hour device which is GSP300 that retails for about 5999 rand and the 518 watt hour device retails for 9,000 Rand. So now that we know the different prices, I think the most important thing that we need to remember is which device would suit us. So although we have these four devices, what your needs are will determine which device you can go for. So the 155 watt hour and the 242 watt hour is great for light users and students. It can power things like laptops, mobile devices, um, and even smaller appliances just through the load shedding to get you so far just so that you can get your work done and you know everything sorted and I guess it's better off than actually having a power bank to power some of your devices because this now at least you know you're getting a little more and it has a three uh, a, a, an SA plug socket built in also so then we come to our bigger devices the bigger devices can be used for things like TVs for our gamers that want to game during load shedding they want to play the Xbox play the PlayStation keep the big TV on those devices would be perfect for you because they supply sufficient power so that you can game comfortably during load shedding as well as you can hook up some of your bigger appliances like your TV and your uh, game station so the second product we're going to move on to is the Gazoo mini PoE DC UPS and the Gazoo mini UPS these will give you uninterrupted power the second your load shedding starts for your ONT and your router and for even some of your cameras. So these have intelligent protective design with overcharge protection, over discharge protection and even short circuit protection. And as I mentioned, these can power your router and ONT or ONU during power outages and 
The good thing is that they built with most of the voltages that our UPSs or our routers and ONTs use. So some of the devices which are the PoE uh, mini UPSs and these can actually power things like CCTV cameras, PoE phones and even some of our gigabit uh, PoE devices. Some of the devices also come built in with USB ports so you can charge your phone while keeping your router and your, UP, uh, your ONT online. So there are many different modes and models of these devices and I have three devices that I want to highlight to you guys and this is how you're going to pick the right device for you. So if you just want to keep your ONT online or your, your ONT and your router online then you would pick something like the Gazoo UPS 36 watt and it has a 8800 8, milliamp hour battery. This retails for about 999 Rand and this only has DC ports meaning it only has the ability of powering your ONT and your router. The next product now that is more for people that want to keep their router online for longer but okay so there's two versions you either want to keep your router and your ONT online for longer and you also have the ability of powering things like cameras on your network. So this is the Gazoo UPS uh, 60 watt hour and this has a 21,000 milliamp hour battery and it's the mini PoE DC UPS. So this has a lithium ion phosphate battery and it has and it is built in with DC ports as well as PoE ports so again to keep some of your cameras online. And this retails for about 1,999 rands. The third one we're going to move on to is the Gazoo UPS 100 watt hour. So this has a 14,000 400 milliamp hour battery and this is a mini PoE and DC UPS. So this one would retail for 1800 Rand and it has the same lithium ion phosphate battery and is built in with DC and PoE ports. Both of the DC and PoE port devices also have the two UPS device or the two USB devices for you to charge your phones. So it's important for you to decide which device suits your needs. Is it just keeping the router and ONT online or do you want to have the ability of connecting your phone to charge in case you forget to uh, charge your phone or even have the ability of powering specific cameras on your device or on your network. So the third device we're going to look at is the Gazoo Universal Voltage Protector Plug. This can protect all devices and appliances that are connected to it from things like surges that are caused during load shedding. When load shedding comes back on, either it's underpowered or overpowered. So these devices can protect you against high voltage, low voltage, voltage dips and even power surges. So they can protect you for up to 16 amps or they have built in current protection up to 16 amps. It has a low voltage protection from 180 uh, volts. And this can damage things like our fridges and our freezers because it's being underpowered. And it, it can also help you prevent high voltage or it also provides high voltage protection from voltage over 260 volts. And this can damage things like our TVs, our PlayStation consoles, PCs and so many other devices. It has a built-in digital LED display and these devices retail for 250 Rand and this device is quite important right now because insurance companies are actually excluding or uh, they're actually excluding damages from load shedding and a possible grid collapse should something happen. So maybe we need to consider these devices to cover our own behinds. If anything does go wrong you can say hey you know what I had a voltage protector it wasn't the power that you know took out my device it was something else and then obviously the insurance company would have to cover you so the final device we're going to look at is the kazoo everglow rechargeable emergency led bulb so this bulb how it works is basically it comes in three versions or three variants a 9 watt bayonet as well as a 9 watt screw-in bulb so remember the two 
thingies or the actual screwing bulb and there's also a 3 watt down lighter bulb so it has the ability of actually selecting between three different brightness levels and depending on which brightness you choose that will dictate um, how long the light lasts so it has a 25 uh, percent brightness a 50 percent brightness and a 100 percent brightness um, and how these devices work basically it plugs in to your regular bulb fitting either a normal bulb or your down lighters and depending or or let me just explain it like this when your lights are on the bulb is charging and then what you can do during load shedding if the switch is already on then the bulb will automatically switch on at 100% brightness then what you can do you can actually switch the light on and off really quickly to change the different brightness levels from 100 to 50 or to 25 so obviously 25 would last you a lot longer and basically uh, depending on the brightness is going to last you however long so these bulbs actually have a 25,000 hour lifespan and the bayonet and the screw bulb retail for 150 rand and then you have the down lighter bulb which retails for about 99 rand so hopefully this information has helped you guys um, consider some of the products that you need during load shedding and all the links to all of the products that I have mentioned can be found in the description below um, they'll be linked across take a lot um, quite a few different places that you can find these devices but hopefully this video has helped you in some way to decide what you need and what you don't need for your home you can let me know if there are any other devices that you think you know what might be beneficial to some of the people in our community and you can leave your comments down in the comment section below but guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashant and I'll catch you in the next video.